Good afternoon boys and girls, hope you're all doing okay. Thought I would take a bit of a break from my usual chatting to you of an afternoon from my living room. Instead, I've popped outside to give Eliza a bit of a walk and I thought I would chat to you on this beautiful fine day outside today. Well listen, hope you've, uh, you've been enjoying your day so far. Um, I certainly have. Miss Halls and I have been chatting about what we're going to be doing for you next term, which is very, very exciting indeed. Now, first and foremost, I need to give a bit of a shout out to Charlie in 5B. Sadly, I forgot to mention Charlie yesterday for all the kids who are working really, really hard at this time. So, Charlie, well done. I'm really impressed with your reading. Uh, you are coming on really well with Epic. You're reading lots and uh, the work you're doing for me is very impressive. Thank you and sorry for not mentioning your name uh, yesterday. As are many of you in 5B, we're still a little bit behind what 5A are doing with their epics and I think we could be doing a little bit more, maybe? What do you think? Maybe a little bit more next, uh, next week. Writing today has been really good. I've been very interested at looking at your notes, um, information for planning on non ecological reports on cheetahs, on peregrine falcons, on brumbies, on tigers, uh, wildcats, and also the Titanic as well. So I'm pretty sure your reports are going to be amazing when we start reading them uh, tomorrow. That's great to see. Um, with maths this week as well, I've been really, really impressed by the way you've suddenly started to understand fractions, decimals, and percentages. It, it's not easy when you first start looking at percentages. It can be quite difficult to, to kind of get because it's quite an abstract uh, sort of context. But if you start to say to yourself that a fraction, a decimal and a percentage is just another way basically of saying the same thing, then your brain suddenly starts to realise that you can say something is a half of something, which is the same as 50%, which is the same as um, 0.5 of something. It's just sometimes you use uh, different ways uh, of, of doing it in different sort of contexts. So well done for that. I'm about to get strangled here by my dog. Stop it, you. Um, now. Tomorrow we are going to be planning something pretty exciting for you and we're looking forward to seeing your faces. Now, yesterday I said what I wanted you to do was to go on to zoom.us and download the app for whichever device you're currently using right now. So that zoom.us, it's a free app. What I'm going to do um, along with this clip is give you a link and that link is the way that you are going to be able to access the meeting with the rest, hopefully, of your classmates tomorrow afternoon. All the other year groups in the school have done this. It works. It's really, really cool. So basically, you're going to get a link, and that link is going to be uh, enabling you to access Miss Hall's chat room and my room at two different times. Miss Hall's and 5A, you're going to be ready from 1 o'clock until 1.15 tomorrow, and in 5B from 1.15 until 1.30. So simple. All you'll need to do is just to click on the link. It's just a, a quick hyperlink uh, with your downloaded device, and then you'll be able to go on and say hi to your classmates. We've not quite worked out what it is we're gonna do and say yet, but uh, we'll work that one out tomorrow. It'll be lovely to see all of your faces again. Yes, including you. It'll be nice to see your face again as well. Um, be lovely to see everybody tomorrow um, afternoon. Now, we're almost at the end of this uh, term now, and let's face it, it's been one of the most oddest terms I think most of us have probably had in our lives. We've not seen much of each other. We've been learning in a very, very different way, in a different sort of context. But do you not think it's made you far more resilient? It's made you look at life and think to yourself, do you know what? I'm actually pretty lucky to have all of those things going on that maybe I take for granted sometimes. It's also helped me with problem solving. I mean, the stuff that we teachers have done, Miss Halls and I included, over the last week, we would never have thought about doing before. It's been absolutely brilliant for us as well as uh, you guys as well. And for me, it certainly allowed myself to think about my life in a, in a different way and work out what's important, what maybe can be left for another time and uh, what I want to spend more time kind of doing in the future. Without, without this coronavirus lockdown right now, I wouldn't have this lovely thing in my life. <laughs> so some things do work out for the best, don't they, after all? So we're going to say goodbye. We're going to go on a bit of a walk now, and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, tomorrow. Take it easy. Well done. Thank you so much to your parents again, who have been absolute, um, absolute heroes in all of this, uh, doing and helping you every single day. We really, really appreciate you. 
have a lovely evening and I look forward to seeing 5A at 1 o'clock until 1.15, 5B, 1.15 till 1.30 tomorrow, Thursday the 26th of March on Zoom. Take care guys, have a good evening.